Hey guys, bought myself a little Christmas present. So how about we open it up a little bit early. Not quite Christmas yet, but I just can't wait. I'm a little leery too because it sounds like a lot of loose parts inside. But I know this item is disassembled, so that might be alright. Hopefully none of the parts are damaged. It's just poking around on eBay about a week ago. Came across this. A reasonable buy it now and figure it back why not. Hopefully I'll have a use for it. If not now, in the not too distant future. I thought this might be the original box, but no it is not. I'm not sure what this was from originally, but what is in here is, I believe, new old stock, never, never used, never assembled uh, TV stand. Made by Admiral for, oh, okay, it does have the original box. Oh, but it's not Admiral branded. I thought it was for some reason based on their listing, but clearly you see. Made. Actually, not too far from my place, but I uh, don't think that's where it's shipped from. Uh, looks like it's shipped from Maine. So it was <coughs> made in Illinois, shipped to Maine at some point in its life, and now it's back in Illinois. And in all that time, I don't think it was ever used. As you might guess from the name there, it is a tripod. TV tripod or TV stand. Just remember what that marker ages again. Looks like the original store in there too. Radio Supply, 26 Cross Street, Auburn, Maine. Maybe they used it to display floor models or something. Uh, I don't know. But what this appears to be is a stand for portable TVs. It looked to be in excellent condition. It's chromed, and I'm hoping from all the bashing around, because there's no packing material in here whatsoever. Oh, well, it didn't get too dinged up. Let's see, there's some fine scratches on it, but uh, hopefully nothing too severe. I've seen these before. I've seen some people selling TVs with the stand. I've never actually had one. That's the main support there. The TV actually kind of hangs from that hook. And I'm currently, and it'd be for like the suitcase style portable TVs, so like a 19 inch. Hmm, something seems amiss though. Because I only seem to have two legs and there should be a third. Oh, here it is. Phew. <laughs> third one doesn't have a wheel. So you tip it up a bit and roll it around and then you set it back there. Ooh. Chasing some of the hardware. Got a couple cushioning caps on here. Sure they go. Of course, since I don't have uh, original paperwork, I'm going to have to guesstimate how this exactly goes together. I'm pretty sure in eBay listing they did have it together, so I can refer to that to figure things out. I believe this top section here is telescoping. Yeah. So the TV hangs off the hook and I think the back bumps up against this. Oh, okay, and this, oh no, sorry, this slides down. So the bottom of the TV rests on this and the top 
hangs on that. See, but the handle of the TV, in other words, goes in here. So you can see it's got to be a pretty shallow TV if the handle's going to hang from here and the back's going to bump up against that. So I guess you adjust it for height and one of these guys you used to lock it in. These thumb screws here. And on the bottom, well, two roller wheels. I presume those are going towards the back. So, like so. And then the fixed would go up here. So, where do these go? Oh, probably one goes in here. Top. And the other one is angled a bit. I think it goes on the end of this foot here. So you don't scrape up your floor, maybe. Just a guess. Here are some photos from the eBay listing, and hey, notice in the background there's a piece of paper back there. Well, I looked through my box, and I did not. <clears throat> Here are some photos from the eBay listing showing it all assembled and notice in the background there's a piece of paper. Well, I looked all through my box and I don't see that piece of paper anywhere. Luckily, they included here and that's why I thought this was an admiral stand is because the assembly instructions say admiral on it. And here assembly instructions. I also appear to be missing one of the screws. There should be two on each leg, so six screws total. And I only have five. Might have slipped out, might be around somewhere, but uh, I haven't found it anywhere. At any rate, it didn't cost a whole lot. And if I have to replace one screw, no big deal. And while I don't have this original assembly instructions, but at least I've got this photo of them and I can save this. So here it is, all put together. In the photos, they showed the chrome looking kind of crummy up here. I think it's maybe just because I used a flash, because in person it doesn't look that bad, and I haven't tried cleaning it yet or anything, so. Maybe clean up and polish up even better. So, let's see if it actually works. Um, the only thing I can think of I got on a hand is a Silvertone 19 inch portable that uh, I think may just fit on this. This 19 inch set uh, is definitely too big and heavy for this stand. It just barely fits on there. And, it's kind of straining underneath all the weight, so i got to find myself a smaller TV. I'm guessing a 17 would fit the bill. Uh, in fact, i got a particular Admiral Portable in mind that I think would go really well on here. Pretty sure it's a 17. might even be a little smaller, and it's uh, quite shallow. So I'm going to be on the lookout for one of those. Hopefully one day I'll find one. And I can put this stand to better use right now. I gotta get this TV off before something really tragic happens. That's <clears throat> this is a TV I was thinking of. It's actually smaller than I realized. It's only a 13-inch 1965 Admiral Playmate portable television. I've seen a few on eBay. Uh, I just haven't uh, pulled the trigger on one yet, but I'm sure one will turn up sooner than later. Also notice this little guy up for auction. Oh, that's part of a live auction event, though. That's a bummer. Looks like a nice little guy, too. Very scant in the details, though, and only one photo. There's not one of those Playmates. But, uh, as you can see, just a whole bunch of ads. No actual physical TVs. But I know there's out, they're out there. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of these portable TVs out there. Well, not as many as you might think. It actually, um, to my experience, it's actually harder to find a 60s TV than it is a 40s TV for whatever reason. I don't know if people aren't listing them so much or... 
did they all get tossed? That seems unlikely. Let's see what the Search for Vintage Portable TV brings up. Yeah, you get a lot of the Japanese stuff, for sure. There's a Safari. So it's a stretch what people think of as vintage. In the 1940s, Montgomery Ward, some might call that an antique. And then you got TVs from the 80s or 90s even, that are categorized as vintage now, too. That's classic RCA. 7503. Bentley's, Sony, Cena's. But none of these are those skinny 60s black and white TVs that I'm looking for. I've also got a Filk Out Town and Country portable, but that's just about as big and heavy as the silver tone I just tried hanging on that stand. Here's another TV that's possible candidates, uh, 15 and 17 inch portable TVs, uh, 1966. Alright, well I guess that'll be it for now. Hope you enjoyed this look at uh, what appears to be a new old stock TV stand, I'm guessing from the 60s. And uh, if any of you have leads on a skinny TV that might fit on that stand, please let me know.